Hello, we are doing C melodic minor scale today. It has three flats, B flat, E flat and A flat. It's a relative minor to E flat major. They both have the same key signature, yeah. The melodic minor with a high 6 and 7 note, in this case it means that your B flat becomes B, your A flat becomes A natural, yeah. On the way down it goes back to B flat and A flat. Um, I'm playing triplets. Now, so far the rhythms we've seen was, for example, a crotchet, one beat for a note, a quaver, two notes per beat, a semi-quaver, four notes per beat. Now the triplet fits in between that. It's a quaver triplet, which means it's three notes per beat. Yeah, it sounds something like this. Yeah, one, two, three, four. It's the same rhythm the whole way through, but it's it might sometimes take some getting used to. So think forward when you do your scale, it's only one beat per note, two notes per bow, so it's quite challenging. On top of that you have these triplets to deal with. So I hope you've done the practice with the previous video where I introduce all the finger patterns and uh, well, the fact that the finger pattern on the way up is very different from the finger pattern on the way down. Um, so I hope you're prepared because we're going to go straight in now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now, with only one beat per note, of course, the scale isn't very long. I hope it went well. If not, try it again. When you hesitate, always keep looking forward, yeah? Don't take a step back. The recording will keep going forward. And then, if you can remember where you made a mistake, then you can quickly practice it, and then you simply try it again. The key to playing fast is know what's going to happen next and be ready, be prepared. Definitely with string changes when you have to go for a low fourth finger on the D string or a high fourth finger on the lowest two strings. Yeah, when you have to prepare for that, remember where your fingers are going to go. Yeah, good luck and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.